actually right up until uh, the day before Christmas we're going to be on tour so um, I'm flying home on Christmas Eve and then uh, probably be jet lagged for the whole day of Christmas and, and we'll probably have a couple of weeks off after that Oh daddy please Dream Bostonista näytti Freddie Mercuryn muistokonsertissa, kenen harteilla osittain lepää rokin tulevaisuus. Näitä veikkoja ei estä enää mikään. Vai mitä, Brian? Um, Nuno Betancourt from Extreme is really a great new technician. Do you think that people have forgotten the real message of Christmas and it has become very commercial these days? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, of course, uh, And also people who who say they know what the message is, you know, that they'll they'll go to church that one day out of the year, but then just kind of forget about it the, the rest of the time. And uh, I, I think it definitely is, um, you know, for some people, I'm sure it's it's uh, they they keep in mind the real message. It's um, definitely a great feeling to know that we've sold so many records, and and of course uh, playing some of the big shows we've done. Um, The biggest one that comes to mind is the tribute, the Freddie Mercury tribute that we played at, which was, um, it was, it was a really incredible day to, to be part of that. You know, it really was a shock to us when, when he passed away, as, you know, as it was to everybody. Um, and shortly thereafter, they asked us to, to be part of the tribute for him. And we were so honored because we, we grew up listening to Queen, you know, they're definitely one of our favorite bands. And, um, It was definitely, you know, it was mixed emotions that day because we were happy to to meet Queen and to be part of this, uh, you know, this incredible, uh, you know, the show was for such an incredible cause, you know, to, to really make people aware. Um, and, you know, it was also such a sad day because, you know, in between, like right before our performance, which was so exciting to do, they were showing old clips of Freddie playing and it was uh, pretty tear-jerking, so mixed emotions that day. Uh, how about in the beginning or as a child, what kind of dreams did you have? Did you all want to become musicians or...? I think uh, all of us had an early attraction to music, you know, I know. <clears throat> Myself, I, I had an older brother that played guitar and sang and used to play records around the house when I was a little kid, so I always had that attraction. Um, Nuno grew up in a family of like 10 brothers and sisters who all played different instruments and he was always exposed to uh, to music. Um, Gary had an older brother similar to my you know, situation and uh, Paul tells stories of you know drumming on pans and pots when he was a little kid so you know I think it's it's definitely something that was in all of our blood that we grew up with you know and had an attraction to. What you expect it might you know it might be like is a little bit different than than what it actually is you know people think show business is so glamorous and this and that but uh, you know it's not uh, I don't think it's everything it's cracked up to be you know and there's a lot of hard work that people think that might not go into it you know people think that uh, musicians it's all just one big party but there's a lot of hard work to it and uh, and you know that your career and your life is in a lot of other people's hands too that uh, are doing jobs for you that that um, you know, you have no control over, you know, promoting the band or getting your songs heard or making your videos and things like that. But, uh, you know, I think slowly, um, slowly but surely, we're, we're getting our hands into more of, the, uh, of those outside influences you know, and learning a lot about business and things like that so that we don't uh, expect too much of other people or, you know, we definitely have to to know what's going on. How many people are there with you on tour? How big is the crew? Well, including all the sound company and lighting 
and the opening act and everything, there's uh, about 50 people on tour.